Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. We are in, it's Sunday today, in case you didn't know, and today we are looking at Psalm 94. Every Sunday we look at one of the Psalms, and this is episode 94 of Sunday in Psalms. So we're going to read Psalm 94, and it's entitled today, Help. You can see this is one of the Psalms, and some of the Psalms, you might, after you read through them, there's, you know, way over 100 Psalms, you go, man, it seems like this is saying similar things. Well, yeah, if you have over 100 Psalms, you're going to say some similar things uh, through that and find some of those same themes. Um, turn on the radio today, and you're, you're going to find the same if you listen to, you know, country music station or rock station, whatever, you're going to say, find some of those same themes throughout the same songs. Like my girlfriend left me and, you know, if it's a country station, you know, my dog left me and my truck broke down, uh, whatever, um, all those same themes. Well, you have some of the same themes in the book of Psalms and this today, what we're looking at is, um, it, you know, where he's crying out for help. And then next week we're looking at, it's, a, it's another worship, uh, a song, um, so let's read here today. This is uh, Psalm 94, okay? And, and again, it's entitled, Help. It says this, The Lord is a God who avenges. O God who avenges, shine forth. Rise up, judge the earth, pay back to the proud what they deserve. How long, Lord, will the wicked, how long will the wicked be jubilant? They pour out arrogant words, and all the evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner. They murder the fatherless. They say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Uh, so, um, he, you know, he's crying out, like, help. It, this is, you know, it seems like everything's going crazy, and you, God, you're not helping. Let's keep reading here. Verse 8, take notice, you senseless ones among the peoples. You fools, when you could become wise, does he not fashion the ear to hear? Didn't God make the ear? Does he not uh, Does he not form the eye uh, to see? Does he not discipline nations uh, and not punish? Does he teach? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all the human plans. He knows that they are futile. Blessed are those the one you discipline, Lord. The one who you teach from your law. You grant them relief from the days of trouble, till a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on the righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evildoers? Unless the Lord had given me help, I would have soon I would soon have dwelt in the silence of death. When I said, my footing, foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. So God is, he knows here that God is coming to help him. When I said, my, you know, my, when I said, my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. Verse 19. When, ex, 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 let me start over. When, ex, and, wow, this is real. And anxiety. Anxiety. Why, why do I have a, such a hard time with that word? When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Okay, I know several people that suffer from anxiety. Okay, maybe that's why it was such a difficult word for me. Uh, it says, "When your anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy." So even you know that anxiety is going on within me, and I'm like, "Oh, what do I do?" Your consolation brought me joy. Can a corrupt throne be allied with you? A throne that brings on misery by its decrees? The wicked band together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my fortress, and my God is, is the rock in whom I take refuge. He will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. Okay? I like the way this, this psalm ends. You know, Well, it's, it's going on, and he's, he's crying out to God for help. And then he's pointing out, God's going to help us. He's like, he's the one who created us. He made the ear, he made the eyes, you know, to see it and all that. Um, but then here at the end, when he says, uh, but the Lord has become my fortress and my God, the rock in whom I take refuge. We talked about this several episodes ago in one of the Psalms that um, God is the fortress and 
it's well it was episode 91 so it's like three episodes back um it where you know it was my castle the fortress we can trust in god because god's going to be you know watching out for us and it's like i'm in the safety of that castle um and so i don't really have to to fear and so uh we can conclude with that where he says you know god is my fortress and my rock okay so the the whole psalm i've entitled help but we know that help is coming from the lord okay so that's the bottom line you're going to get in, in places with uh that you need help you know and you're crying out to god it seems like he's not answering but he is one and we know and we have evidence of him uh, being faithful and answering our prayers okay let me pray. Lord God, I thank you for your presence here with us. And at times we feel like we're all alone and we're losing the battle, but we know uh, deep down in our hearts that you are with us and you are here to protect and guide us. Thank you for your presence in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word, and I invite you to join me next Sunday as we continue our journey looking at the book of Psalms. All right. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.